sit up on your knees. Yes, it's going to be exciting. Won't be till November, but that was just, I couldn't resist. And if I was retired, I'd be, but. You never know. I, I know, but you'll have to one day have, oh, I feel fatigue. <laughs> 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 Let all those brilliant people get dressed up to go out. So sit comfy if you can, easy. And let's just breathe up and breathe down. And up and down. Good, up. Jennifer, you've been so regular. And up and down. Good, and up. Press down the armpits and reach through the fingers. Good. Bigger. Three more. Hold the arms up and exhale, slide down the heart line. Let's just go ahead and nestle the thumbs at the breastplate. Dedicate this breath, this practice to our alignment with the divine to our ongoing yearning for conscious contact, for an open and clear eye. Let's invite ourselves to cultivate that intimate relationship with the divine, with our breath, with our yoga, the yoga. Easy, let's just take the arms out, up and overhead so the feet don't go to sleep. Go ahead and turn off to the right side. Let the right hand come behind you, near to your toes, and the left hand on the outside of your thigh. Roll your shoulders, lengthen the neck, and on your next exhale, exaggerate that spiraling or that spin or that twisting. And looking over the right shoulder, beautiful. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Remember, that's the whole key. And then turn your head gently to your left shoulder. Put a pleasant look on your face. Plump up your lips. Keep your chest raised. That spinning of the thoracic spine, that exaggeration of the abundance of your breath. Beautiful. And exhale, flatten the belly, turn the head back over the right shoulder, spin the hands around off the hips. Inhale up and overhead. And let's exhale off to the other side. Take that left hand, kind of really march it back there so you get a little extra force. Use your fingertips. Take your right hand on the outside of the thigh. Sit solidly on your heels. Really feel that twisting and that squeezing through the waist. Roll that right, the left shoulder back a little more, Robert. Good. Lift the chest a little more. That's good. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Don't fall backwards there, Lee. Be right up on top of the heels. And then easy. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. Pleasant. Lift the chest. Beautiful. Unfurrowed brow. Just imagining that you're floating around in some ancient piece of art. Trying to manifest the qualities of higher consciousness of larger love. And then spin your head <clears throat> over your left shoulder. Exhale, flatten the belly, let the arms reach out, up and overhead, look up, and humbly slide on down the heart line. We dedicate this breath and this practice to our body, to the honor, the privilege, and the adventure of housing the spirit in this most sacred of temples. We acknowledge the gifts. We work in that place of grace and gratitude. Sweep the arms out, up and overhead, and just rock off. No, 
that's not the right word, <laughs> slide, slide off to your right side and easy, turn your chin. And if your chin runs into your shoulder, adjust that right elbow and the shoulder so that the length of your left fingertips is felt in your waist. And that's the freedom in your head. Beautiful, keep some energy in your fingers, Lee. That's good. Breathing. Turn your head forward a little bit, Will. There, good, nice. And then easy, breathe in the left rib cage and float up, gathering, pressing, left hand down offside the body, lift up and out and slide on off to the side. And remember, if you turn your head to look down at the ground, that if you run into the shoulder, they're gonna soften that elbow and reach a little further through your right fingertips. And you can find yourself a little bit forward and a little bit back. Well, that's a good pat for the for the, <laughs> the rusty dog. <laughs> He's sound asleep, this dog. He does. He comes to yoga, he just <laughs> snores in his bed. Are you breathing, Jennifer? <laughs> oh, hello, there's one. And then easy. Inhale into your right rib cage. Float up. Ah, up and overhead, big breath. And slide on down the heart line. It's more, let's go out and around like you were a little Katie Ledecky. Twine your fingers, roll your shoulders, lift your chin, lift your chest. I'm just making you feel guilty because I know none of you really watch the Olympics. Don't know anything I'm talking about. <laughs> you did? I watched tons. That Katie Ledecky, there's some, I just outrageously sparkly fine souls that are. Just pushing the envelope. Hands are back, lift the chest. They really go dig deep. That's that old adage, dig deep. So lift your heart, squeeze your elbows towards each other, stretch across your upper chest. I'm so happy to hear that. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> and then easy, lower the hands down, release the hands, squeeze a little bit. And then come up onto all fours and easy, or no, all twos. Oh, he just fell out of his bed. <laughs> now curl your toes under. I don't think you can see him on there, probably. Stretch your arms out, up and overhead. And let's exhale, take that, keep the left hand to the sky. Let the right hand spiral back towards your heel. Use your fingers. What happened? You're cramping already? Ay, por favor, that's the humidity. Thrust your pubic bone forward. Lift through your left fingers. Flatten your thighs. Breathe in, breathe out. And then let that left hand come onto your heart. Three breaths, one for the body, one for the mind. One for the great spirit. Aha, uh -huh, good job. Inhale and lift up. That's what we want. Loosen it up. It's my mom. Lift way up and take that left hand. Watch it as it goes back to your heel. The fingers keep the thighs flat. Look up towards those right fingers. Really reach. You can feel it in your hip. Yes, Susan? Or is it the other hip? Good. You really want to feel this flatness. Breathing, Robert. And then easy, go ahead and let that hand rest on your upper chest, on your heart. Three breaths. <sighs> Loosen your jaw as you breathe. And easy, inhale and lift on up. Both hands up to the sky. And easy, let's just go ahead and sit down on the heels. Wrap your hands around your heels. Grab on like a doorknob. And then easy, take the crown of your head down in between your knees, hold on to your heels tight and lift your bottom. Oh, that was good, Lee. Thank you for adding that extra. Tuck your head in there more. Get your nose to your knees. Good, hold on, Linda. Lift that bottom up, stretch the arms, stretch out the lower back. Lift your bottom a little higher, Robert. Good, you feel it? 
Yes. Stretch. Stretch those shoulders. And easy. Release the hands, come forward on all fours. Now you're on all fours. And go ahead and shake out your money maker. And then easy, let's spin the hips around the kneecaps. Mm. Careful your head, don't think about the furnace, man. Go the other direction, Brenda. Just decide to take up AC. <laughs> and then easy, come back into the center and go ahead and curl the toes and exhale around and spin the chest forward, tail to the sky, exhale and round, press on the thumb and forefinger, spread the wings, slide the chest forward, exhale, breathe strong. <laughs> Use your fingers nice and wide. That's good. And spin forward, slide the heart forward, tailbone to the sky. And exhale once more. And inhale, come forward, roll the shoulders back, sit back on your heels and press on the heels of your hands. Toes are curled under, shoulders are down. Looking at your thumbs, Squeeze the elbows in and stretch out your toes. Breathing at the same time would be good. Are you cramping, Will? You okay? Okay, breathe. Keep that shoulder girdle strong. Elbow creases together. And then go ahead and lift up your hips. Halfway. Lean on the thighs. Shake out your head. Activate your wing bones. Really feel how those slabs, those wing slabs, slide over the ribs. And then raise the heels to the sky, press on the forefinger and the thumb, bottom is high, and now pedal the heels. <sighs> pedal the heels, pedal the knees, pulse your rib cage back towards your thighs. Breathing, are you breathing everybody? So quiet in here. A little bit more bounce there, Jennifer. Chest to the thighs. Good, and then let's inhale into plank. I realize that <clears throat> something's happened. We have to work on our strength. Bring your bosoms over your thumbs, squeeze your bottoms, belly button to the backbone, elbows squeezing towards each other. Feel yourself like fabulous, breathing, push the heels away, activate the inner thighs, press on the fingertips, that's good. Just plank pose like a piece of wood. Oh no, 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 oh no, no, <laughs> darling, arriba, <laughs> breathe, come along. Now, easy, go ahead and take your right hand and just roll to the side and grab your waist. You don't have to stack the feet, just practice stacking the shoulders, lifting the buns up, darling. And then back into plank. Don't make it complicated on yourselves, just practice. Roll the feet, grab the waist, stack the shoulders, if you're thrill-seeking, you stack the feet, but you can just practice stacking the shoulders. Go ahead, thrust your pubic bone forward a little bit more. That girl, lift the chin a little bit. Breathe, are you breathing? Barely. Barely, okay, well keep some action in the roots area. Good, back, what happened, Lee? Back into plank, three breaths, one. Oh, I see, two, I can't see your feet though. And three, and easy. Knees down. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Whoa. What did you, what's that called? It's an army thing, isn't it? No, bosoms to the thumbs, buns are off. No, he did that big exuberant clapping. I think that's something to do with, the, isn't that an army push-up? Something like that. Something like that. 
They've gone wild. Oh, there it goes, Lee's doing regular macho push-ups. Slide your elbows forward. Easy, bring your heels together, Linda. Roll the shoulders back. Thanks, Brenda. Ah, lift the chest. Ah. Come up a little higher, bazooms off the, you know, slide your elbows forward a little bit, Jennifer. That's good. Rock your hips. Keep sliding. The elbows press into the ground so that that belly button comes forward. No frown, darling. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. There you can see each other. <laughs> and then, hi, honey. And then look over your other shoulder. Breathe. Come back into the center. Get the legs together. You might have to rock a little bit to get the inner thighs and the inner knees together. Be like a spear. Roll and the bosoms go down. And then, Jennifer, can I identify? We're leaping through the air. <laughs> Keep breathing. We want to clean out those lungs. Upper lungs tend to collect a lot of this allergens and mucus and the dust. Lower lungs are just trouble. <laughs> Breathe. Squeeze. Reach the fingers towards the heels. Activate the back side of the body. Inner thighs, good job. Three breaths, one. Very good. Get them action in the toes. Action in the toes. And lower on down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and hinge back into child's pose, but keep the hands out there. Don't move the knees. Just hinge your bottom. Don't bring the knees back towards your heels and then let the hands slide in. Keep your knees together. Breathe in and out. Notice how the folded, squeezed position demands that the oxygen moves into the back lungs. That stimulation of the functions of the body, the participation in the well being. Oh. Now keep the knees together, stretch the fingers out, arms out, lift up on your fingertips, keep your little bottom nailed to your heels. Feel that stretch of the outer shoulder girdle and Mitchy March both your fingers off to the left, go as far as you can, and then a little bit more, but keep your bottom on your heels. You might have to take the cheetos, let them slide over the thighs. Breathing, really more far with that right arm, get that full stretch, so breath creates space in your body lubricates the joints, moves that synovial fluid, that prana through the body. So we want to stimulate the body so it releases the stagnation. Now, Michi march around. Keep the bottom on the heels. Michi march all the way off to your right side and then really reach. Keep the palms and the wrists off the ground. Stretch. Go a little bit further. Really reach. Feel it all the way down the side. You feel it, Robert? Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Go a teeny bit further. And then Mitchie march back into the center. Shimmy and shake. Hands down, inhale up onto all fours, activate the inner meridian of your elbows and your arms, your forefinger and thumb, curl the toes. Gracefully sit back on the heels, inhale up into down dog, raise the hips and heels, drop the heels, three breaths and a nice long and strong down dog. 
Good. Now, a little bit wider in the shoulders. Then look between your thumbs, bend the knees, and see if you can't float in between your thumbs. Hop forward. But no, go for it. Okay, step, hop. Walk, careful. Hands on the shin bones, half unfold. Exhale, float down, grab and wrap your forearms around your calves. See if you can get your nose to your knee. Knees up. And then easy hands on the shins. Bend the knees, walk the feet together, squeeze the knees together, hands on the thighs, raise your head. Eyes are open. Squat down, good, squeeze the knees. Happy cat this. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> Elbows off the shoulders. Are you squatted down? That's good. Oh, Lee's gone wild. Go a little lower, kids. Three breaths, then go back. Pulse the dingle dangles to the sky. Squat down more, Lee. You can do it. You can do it. Go down more. Linda's down there. Get the arms up, go. Dingle dangles to the sky. Try it. That's it. Flap, flap. Drop your buns. Lift your head. Pulse a little bit. Breathe, Jennifer. Head up a little more. Chest up a little more. That's good. Sit down a little more. <laughs> and then easy. Swing the arms. Inhale. Look up, lift up, don't pass out. Look up, lift up. Let the arms go out to a T, stand tall. <sighs> Separate the feet, let the hands roll down. Turn the palms forward, lift the toes, lay the toes down. Stand in mountain pose, line up your body. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, breathe out. Lion's gate. Alignment eight, open. You gather your forces, you gather your awareness, you gather the emptiness, inhabiting the vessel and opening to incoming energy. Keeping your filters. The hollowness. And easy, reach out through the fingertips, way through the fingernails, reach out, let the arms float up, ground yourself through your feet, lift up, look up, easy, slide your hands on down. Open the arms out, let the right arm go out and find yourself balanced on your left leg. Good, so that it's contained, it's contained, and then easy, Cross that left leg, bend the knees. You can cross the thigh. So you squat down, cross the thigh. Then you're gonna sweep your arms so that the opposite bicep goes underneath. That means the left bicep goes underneath. Sit down, sit down on it. That's a song, I know. <laughs> sit down on it. Isn't it? <laughs> Got to be at Oscars on Sunday. Lift the elbows. Sit down on it. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Lift your chest a little more, Linda. Good. 
Good. Try and lift the toes a little. Good job, good job, good job. Sit down on it. Release the arms. Lift out, up and overhead. Shake it. I know that's a song, isn't it? Get down on it. Oh, hello. Almost the same thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I knew it sounded like that. Same thing, different position. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Coming from a different perspective. <laughs> so <Yes>. sit down. <laughs> Lee's dancing. <laughs> See, I knew it had some. Oh, there's the two of them. All right. Well, get down, sit down, bend your legs, bend your legs, arms come up and overhead, and then slide down the heart line. Ah, easy. Stretch out, bend, and take that left leg out. So find the container. How does the container stack up with our tilted girl over there? She looks better with that thing. Then walk it around, cross the thigh. You got to bend the standing leg. Got to get down on it. <laughs> Sit down on it. <sighs> Add some energy through the central core. This time the opposite bicep goes underneath. Cross the right bicep underneath, wrap and try and clap your hands. Lift the elbows up, sit down, and maybe you can lift the toes. I can't see your toes, Linda, but Lee, you can try lifting your toes. You can try wrapping your foot around your ankle. Brenda's gone to the air conditioner. Good job, Susan. Such a nice background, Will, but Will's gone. Oh, stay in there, stay there. You got it, Susan. Bend the standing leg more. Good. Lift the elbows a little higher, Lee. So you stretch. That's good. Sorry. And then easy. Shake it up. Good job. So I don't know if you need your mask, but face the camera and open your legs out. We're just going to go side to side with your warrior twos. Right foot's going to go out, left heel's going to drop back. Fix your hips, roll that right knee over the top foot, arms are out, gazes over the left fingers, breathing. Sink down, check that the knee is over the top of the foot. That's good, nice and strong. Now easy, inhale, straighten the legs, arms overhead, look up. Exhale, gently melt into the same position. Inhale up, strong in the feet, strong in the legs, bend the right knee, exhale down. Once more, up. Exhale, whoa, Mula Banda. Inhale, lift up, hold the arms up, arms out in a T, right foot comes forward, left foot turns out. That's good. You can figure it out. It's not too complicated. The distance between your feet is based on the length of your legs. So look down to make sure you're utilizing the entire mat. Roll that left knee open. Bend the left knee over the top of the left foot. That's good. Lift up through the central core. Beautiful. Back leg is straight. The outer toe line, the baby toe, that blade of the right foot is sunk in. Something happens through the Cheetos. Arms are down, looking over the left fingers. Sink in there. Find yourself strong. Feel the weight strong on your feet. Underneath body is helping the underbelly. Now inhale, straighten the front leg, arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, float right back down into warrior two. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down you go. Roll that knee. Make sure the knee is safe over the front foot once more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Arms overhead. Both toes towards the side of your mat, actually. Roll your arms around. Pinch your wing bones. And then unfold and grab your hands. Twine the fingers. Stretch the arms down towards your tailbone. That's good. Will, you okay? I take that silence as a yes. Roll the shoulders. Stretch the arms down. Press on your feet. Engage your thighs. Curl the pubic bone slightly front. Lift your chin a little bit. Stretch the arms off your bottom. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, good. It feels great. Radiant, valiant, vulnerable. Stretch across the chest. Press on the feet. Look up slightly. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy. Lower the hands onto your rump. Roll the shoulders and slowly slide down towards the ground. Reach out. Ah, that's nice, Susan. Good. Careful, Will. Go ahead and rub your lower back. Shake out your head. Good. Rub the legs. The wider apart your legs, it all is back to basic geometry. The wider the base of the triangle, the closer the crown of your head or the apex of the triangle will be to the earth. So a large stance gets you closer down to the ground. Drop your hands underneath your shin. No, it's chin. <laughs> Where'd he go? She's cleaning the dog bed. <laughs> and then easy, let your body just hang down towards the ground. That's good, breathe in, breathe out. How is it? Now put the hands on the ground. Oh, good job. Do you have your blocks, Will? Good, put them under your hands. Open your legs a little wider. It's instruction from your yoga ma. And easy, I'm gonna softly just bend your right knee and come through center, bend the left knee. Try and drop your buns while you go. Other side. Good, good, good. Go deep. Go low. Go a little lower, girl. See if we can get that hip to move. There you go. Down, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> careful Brenda you've disappeared once more each side come back into the center on your fingertips on the ground underneath your chin open up your buttocks lift your chin lift your chest straight flat back and then exhale, roll down. Try and get the crown of your head and let your hands go through your legs. Pull yourself towards the floor. Oh yeah. Happy summer, good job. Good. Walk your hands a little further. Let your weight go forward on your toes a little more, Jennifer. There, breathe. Lift your kneecaps. Flick your bum to the air to the sky. One more breath. And easy. Walk the hands back on in, lift the heels, pull them together, lift the toes, pull them together, lift the heels, pull them together, toes, and then drop down inside your thighs. <laughs> Ah, they taught her the trick. <laughs> ah, there you go. Feet are a little bit wider. Elbows inside the knees. Open your feet a little further apart. It's a giant squat. It's a Japanese birthing position. 
rice fields. Ah, hold on. Hey, Linda. Careful that knee. Catch yourself so you don't hurt yourself. Hi, Brenda. There you are. Catch yourself. Come down carefully onto your tailbone. That means you have to come down, Jennifer, carefully. Oh, she's, she's enjoying her brick. Pull your bottom back behind you. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Exhale, just forward bend, forward fold. Good job. Just are you breathing? Good. I'm quietly. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty here. I think it's pretty here. This turned out to be a pretty. Good. Easy. So walk your hands on back easy. Now, do you have a belt or a strap, everybody? Something? Do, do you guys have Lee and Linda, L and L? You don't have a belt from when you don't wear belts? Just let your pants fall down. <laughs> you don't, do you have a old sheet? <laughs> or like a kerchief or something? Okay, they're being headstrong. <laughs> I see. They know what they're up to. Fold your left leg in. Take your strap, wrap around your feet. You guys hang on to your foot. Mm -hmm. And just gonna lift up that leg. So you can hold on to your yoga pants. Drop your shoulders or your skin. <laughs> Those of you aren't wearing pants. Good. So pull the leg so the thigh is coming towards your ribs. The shoulders are down. The elbows are dropped. Chest is up. Face is happy. Hello. Now take that leg and swing it. Swing it open and closed. Namashivaya. Oh, very good. Is that the hip or is it the other hip, Susan? It's that one. Okay, good. We'll swing away on this one then. Okay, easy. Let's just go ahead and take that leg and cross it over. If we were going to spend a long time here, we would do a whole thing, but just curl yourself into a hip stretch. Right thigh is up against your rib cage. Shoulders are down, squeeze. Try and sit on that right butt bone so the heel is out of the way. Are you good, Will? I can mostly see your ceiling more and your handsome shirt. <laughs> I think you should take up clothes painting. <laughs> Easy, rock that hip, move the foot out a little bit, Jennifer, so the hip can drop. Good, and then sit down. Sit down on it. Sit down on both sit bones. Maybe that's the name of this class. Keep the thigh next to you. Take that right arm, stretch it up, and come down to the ground. Keep that arm close. I mean, the thigh close. And the left arm can do a variety of things. You can just drop to the knee and hug the thigh. You can look back towards the blankets, Robert. <laughs> More. <laughs> That's good. Oh, use the mirror. Breathe in, breathe out. That's good. Ah. <laughs> and easy. Just go ahead and release. Undo the leg, 
We won't do hurrahs today. Much to your joy. Pull the knees in, stretch the legs out. Oh no. One leg so much longer than the other, right? Yes? A little bit. A little bit, I know, trouble's ahead. You have to get those shoes, special <laughs> shoes. I don't know if they're gonna drive. <laughs> I don't know. Oops, other leg. So the right leg's going to come in. I know. I, so I got a new car. I got rid of two of my cars. So I have three now instead of four. Lionsgate. Lionsgate. Open it up. Ah. Ah. Swing it, baby. <laughs> Good. And then bring it into the center and just pull that leg up towards you. Drop the shoulder, sit tall, push the heel, breathe. That's it. Swing it open again and closed. And then go ahead and just take it across. <clears throat> now for myself, I have to cross my right leg in a little bit. Because it's so far, I can't see you. That's good. Get that heel out of the way. Make sure you have the heel away. That's good, Brenda. You're going to turn the other way and hug that knee with your right hand. That's good. And rock that hip down into the ground. That's good. Keep that foot on the ground. Keep the thigh next to the ribs so that you sit right on both butts, butt bones. And then sink in. How are you doing, Susan? How's that hip? You can feel it, yes? Yeah, well, it's the insertion. I think it's a psoas insertion in my groin. And so if I put my left foot a little further in front of me, I don't pinch it. Exactly. Good back, job. I Good can't. adjustment. Exactly. Then you can feel it. Uh huh. So, yeah, let it go out so that it has room to. It's like it's all tangled up in there. You need to see um, an old fashioned chiropractor. I have a fantastic chiropractor who does body work and then adjustments. And what she says and what you say about what, you know, seem to resonate, what the physical therapist says is maybe. It's a <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Well, see if you can, I had that thing before tangled up. It was like tangled up. Press the foot down, good. Take that left arm around, hug the thigh and roll the left shoulder down. Press on your little fingers, lift the chest up more. Oh, very beautiful. Are you breathing, Robert? No. Hey, Will, this side's working perfectly today. Breathe in, breathe out, bigger. Really pull that, let that oxygen circulate in the body. Good. Roll that left shoulder back a little bit, Linda. Good. Three more breaths, one for the body. Ah. Breathe right into where the body resists. One more. Ah. And then easy, bring it around. And let's open up both legs. Stretch out in front of you. Pull the buns, arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward bend. Just see how it is. Just rock a little bit side to side. Release any pinching that might happen up in that skin of your upper thighs and your bottom. Good. Get that nose out there towards the calves. And then easy, let's roll down on the backs. Walk your hands back, roll down onto your backs. Bring your um, thing with you, your strap. Oh. 
Take both legs. Stretch the legs up. And let the legs rock forward so you lift your chest and your shoulders off. You can hold on to your thighs, Linda and Lee, and lay it back down and stretch the legs forward, lift the head up and let the head drop down and pull the legs towards your chest. Once more, push the legs away, lift the chest and the shoulders and the head, good. And then when you lay down, pull the thighs in towards your waist. You feel it, yes or no? Okay, both of you just decided to breathe now. That's good. So easy. Bend that right leg in. And if you have a strap, can you see if you can thread it? You know, you put the tongue through both of the D-rings and then you latch it up. Or if you have the other kind with the grill work, you have to thread it. I don't know if we all have any of those left really. Okay, you two kids without straps are gonna have to come and see me and get straps, first of all. And then you're going to have to, uh, today you're just gonna hold on to your thumb back of your head. The rest of us are going to try and hook our head, not hang ourselves like this, but keep the strap above your ears on the back of your head. And you can let your hands go back there to hold the strap. And then you're going to stretch the right leg out. Gonna breathe. Good. Good. And now stretch this leg out. From what it was. Oh, is it good now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. So let that leg press away from your body slightly. Ah, there, breathing. Three more breaths. One, two, three, and then easy. Slide that straight leg back in so that right leg would slide back in from the ground. Open the right leg out. Bend the right knee. Open the right knee and let your hands go on your head and open that left leg away from your body. That's good, you can keep the leg nice and straight. That's good. And then open it out to the side, Linda. Good. So you can sleep like this. <laughs> And then easy, use your exhale, flatten the belly, lift the leg back up and go ahead and roll all the way over to your right side, keeping that right leg bent and let your hands go with you so you don't wreck yourself. Good job, good job, good job. Yes, you guys okay? Mm -hmm. Linda, and, oh, how cute. Hoka Masahe, get your foot out of her face now. <laughs> Breathe, yeah, rub that hip, Susan. And then easy, go ahead and roll back on your backs. Use your breath, inhale, bring the leg up to the sky and bend the knee in, unhook the straps, 
Hug both knees, hands take both thighs into the chest. And drop the left foot onto the ground, hook up that right foot, stretch the leg nice and long. You can swing that leg open. Swing the leg across the body. Bring it back into the center and now hook up your head. Depending on the kind of conditioner you use will be the <laughs> how slippery your hair is. If you have hair. After all these certain things come into play, right? <laughs> so you can hold your head if you need to keep your strap on there. You can push the right leg away from you so that your shoulders come off the ground and you feel some action in your central core. And then you relax down, lift up. So you feel that leg as a straight leg and how it connects and the subtleties of how this body is designed so that it's wrapped in the skin that keeps the tendons and the ligaments and the bones and the muscles all functioning inside this case. The case which is breathable and permeable. And then easy, go ahead and if you need to take the head out, you can. And open that right leg out to the side. Uh, straight towards Hanuman. Good, nice, Will. Try and stretch that leg. Depending what feels interesting to you, find yourself either opening that leg out. Nice, Robert. Now go across the body. Slowly, don't go too wild. Feel it functioning as you go. Some resistance, some adjusting of the hip pad. If that foot makes it to the ground, Jennifer, pull it up towards your nose a little more. Then you can look away from it. You can adjust that spiral in the body so that you added. Ah, that's good. Go easy. Go slowly. That's good. Adjust that right shoulder a little bit, Lee. That's good. Uh -huh. And turn your head to the right. Good breathing. Good. Is that leg straight there, Linda? Good job. You're loose up there. Good. Brenda, you're good. Your leg is way up towards the couch. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy, go ahead and let the belly activate by rolling back onto your back. Pull that leg in towards your nose. And then easy, take both legs up to the sky, drop the, whatever it's called. Breath. Thank you. <laughs> Bend the knees in, because some of them don't have straps. Bend the knees into the chest. Just roll your knees side to side. Keep the arms on the ground. Just roll side to side. Roll side to side. Breathing. And then come back into the center and pop the legs, uh, the feet onto the ground with the knees bent. Uh oh. Sweep your arms underneath, little fists underneath your bottom. Lift the bottom up. Ah. 
get the back of the skull connected to the earth, tuck the knees into the chest, straighten the legs up to the sky. So take 10 breaths in this position, smooth, slow, soothing, healing, participate in that release of pressure on the valves of your arteries in the legs, in your gut, in your heart, in your brain. You have all those arteries that have these valves. Allow this shift of your relationship to gravity to refresh those valves. Let the flow go easy. Souls are open to the waterfall from the heavens. Three more breaths, long, slow, and deep. <sighs> One more. <sighs> And then easy, bend the knees, kick the feet up to the sky and hold your bottom. Look at your knees or look at your ankles. If you're familiar with your shoulder stand, go ahead, good, don't turn the head. You can go ahead and kick up. That's good, Linda, kick up into a shoulder stand. Hold the hands on the rump, support your lower back. That's good. Hands walk up towards the bra line. The inner thighs are energized. The outer bottom is energized. The legs are particularly spear-like, reaching and elongating up and out so you don't collapse all of your weight. Your weight's on your upper arms and your shoulders and the center back of your skull. Breathing in and breathing out. Go ahead and open your legs out in a V. And bring the legs back up toward the sky. And then twist the pelvis and the legs side to side. Just figure out how that works. It's okay, Brenda, you can go into fish pose. If it was too much pressure, you were up there for a while. Good. Nice. Nice. And you can't believe your legs are so straight, Will. It's excellent. Pressing down on the shoulders, lifting up and out of the waist. Try not to collapse through that. Oh, those obliques, actually, that line of the Greeks. And oh, poor Greece. Oh, and then easy, catastrophe. Bring the knees back into the center. Bring the knees into your forehead. You can separate the knees to your ears. And slowly with the arms on the mat, slowly is the operative word. Roll down slowly, slowly controlling the... <laughs> and then easy, you're going to go right into fish pose. So... You okay, Linda? Feet are on the ground with the knees bent, arms by the side. As you stretch your legs out, easy, you press on your elbows, lift your chest up, and drop the crown of your head to the earth, using that squeezing of the elbows again, that lifting of the heart, that Willingness to be vulnerable and radiant. Buns are down, heart is up. So the buns are down. The buns are down. The legs are straight. Straight out to the ground. And you're going to lift up here. Press on your elbows. There you go. Fish pose. Good. Legs stay active. Viscera are exposed. Crown of the head, reaching open in the heart, elongating and opening through the belly. Good job. Three more breaths. One and two and three. Good job. Easy. Tuck your chin in onto your chest. Hug your knees in there. 
Give yourself a little break and then easy, go ahead and into the bliss of Shavasana. So easy, go ahead and lay the legs out, lay the arms out, open up the palms, set yourself up for a few moments of quietness, of circulation, of ease and grace. Go ahead and soften into that place where you surrender to the support of the earth. Sorry, this thing is just like the rest of me, a little bit old. But breathe easy. Breathe easy. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale out through your mouth. In that familiar place, let your eyes get heavy and sink into your body. Let your lips be plump and your face is smooth. Easy. Let the large muscles drop away from the bones. Let your upper inner legs relax. Relax through your back. Imagine yourself hollow. Floating. The physical body will naturally rebalance. The spiritual body misses and receives. Soften yourself. Recharge and rejuvenate. Restore. Om Radha Krishna 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 Om Radha Krishna
Temple, re inhabit the temple, let the breath be your guide. The breath moves the navel point. Be willing to embrace and receive the opportunities, the openness, the energies, the portals are so open right now. Just be willing to re pivot, as we know, to stay soft in the knees, to stay liquid. to observe. So let the breath guide your belly up. The breath moves through the, to the fingers and let the thumbs slide across the fingertips. Let the breath fill your body and move your toes. Slide the thumbs on the fingertips, inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Let's gather in all this amazing grace. All the sweetness, all that honey-like nectar of the gods, that sweet emerald. It's always about the sweetness. And then softly, let's go ahead and lace the fingers, twine the fingers, roll the arms up and overhead, the hands with the palms facing away from the crown. Pull the straight legs together and point the toes and push the heels. And wow, flutter the eyelashes. Open and close your mouth. Inhale, wow. Exhale, tuck the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. And stay in that new moon, that open portal, rolling to your left side. Mm -hmm. Roll off to the left side, stay there and breathe for a minute and easy. Press yourself up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. This is when those Old classes of an hour and a half gave us time to disappear into the cosmos. <laughs> so acknowledge your earthboundedness, your rootedness, and your seatedness. Reach out from the wing bones through the fingernails, tracing that energy field, gathering up and overhead. Thumbs and baby fingers stay together as the other fingers burst out in that full lotus mudra that cup or that chalice that receives like your feet did, receives through your palms as you slide down the heart line, nestling the thumbs at the breastplate. Breathe in and as you breathe out, the fingertips come together and the brow bows towards the heart. We find ourselves in that ancient and sacred greeting, that place where we welcome, we honor, we bow to and we greet that sparkling, wonderful, dancing, great spirit within ourselves and others. And we know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. And we know that we're part of that global family. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of. And thank each other. And namaste. Thank you so much. 
for being part of this urban yoga family. Yeah, easy. Namaste. Set your intentions. Yeah. Thank you. Love you. Thank you, guys. Love you so much. Thank you.